Huh? Principal Flowers? Mrs. Kingsley? Dad? What is this? Sarah, come have a seat, please. What are you doing here? Miss Barry, have a seat, please. Alright, now that you are finally here, we can finally discuss the situation at hand. Yes, and now that we're finally on school grounds, expel this brat! <sighs> Mrs. Kingsley, it does not work that way. I cannot expel Sarah for something that she did outside of school. And as I told you, I don't give a damn! <sighs> Ma'am... Figure out a way to punish this brat for what she did to my baby! <sighs> Because it seems as though her father isn't really doing much. Well, it seems as though your daughter was performing such malicious acts that caused my daughter to lash out like Excuse that. Excuse me! I she'd do it without reason, so maybe you should check your daughter before you check mine. Well, whatever malicious act you speak of that my daughter was doing, maybe she had a reason to do so, seeing as Sarah has a lot of history with tormenting a lot of girls just like her. Girls who are at the top and just so happen to be surpassing Sarah in many areas. Maybe she was jealous and wanted to get back at her, or whatever you kids like to do nowadays. Okay, enough is enough, please, because this is not helping anyone's case. Anyways, Sarah, although the action was performed outside of school, what you did still counts as harassment and bullying towards another student. You harmed another student, almost to the point where they could have been, Eunice could have been badly injured, or worse, in a coma, and it would have fell on your shoulders. And not only that, just now, within school, you just harassed another student by punching them in the face. Exactly! And it's that type of behavior that we don't approve of. Maybe this girl should be sent to one of those boarding schools where they reform those poor, sick kids. Yeah, what a nice way of saying my daughter is sick and she needs to be sent to a mental institute. Oh, I didn't say no such thing, Mr. Barry. But if I did, I don't think I'd be very far off. Anyways, I've also gotten word that you've harassed two other girls, Courtney Washington and Kentronique Fairmount. Do those two ring a bell? I can't really speak for Courtney, seeing as we were never friends, but Kenny and I were very much close, and she was a part of the cheer squad. And Sarah didn't like that she was the captain and everybody used to look up to her. So, she did everything in her power to harass this girl to the point of no return. Yes, and while we're on the topic of Miss Fairmount, the police are still investigating that. But they also found some Instagram posts of you bullying this poor girl. Miss Barry... Do you have anything to say for yourself? Yes. Why don't you open that loudmouth speaker you call a mouth? I... I... I did... I did do those things. <laughs> and there you have it, Principal Flowers. A confession. Well... I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Barry. You're one of our top students. And to hear that you've been harassing all of the other kids in your class, well, it it breaks my heart. Yes, well, can we please get this over with? I have a meeting and an opening to go to. I don't have time for this. <laughs> yes, just like you don't have time to discipline your own child. <laughs> How neglectful. No wonder Cassandra wanted to leave you. What did you say, you fat bitch? Mr. Barry, please. That is highly inappropriate. Anyways, Sarah, unfortunately, we're going to have to revoke a couple of things from you in result of these sudden news. Starting with kicking you out of the cheer squad and taking two of those cheerleading scholarships that you what? obtained. Wait, no, please, wait, I need those! Well, someone should have thought twice before harassing her fellow but teammates. But those were my ticket into Ohio State so I could pay for college! Well, you don't have to worry about that, seeing as we emailed Ohio State the news this morning and they have revoked your submission into what? college. No, wait, no, 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 can, wait, please, can you just take it back? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do that. 
You performed an act of violence on another student, and you need to be punished for it. You will also be suspended for the rest of the week. And that little prom queen nomination? Oh, yeah. That's dead. We'll be speaking with student council about removing your name from the ballot. No, no, wait, please, please, please. I'll, I'll get myself together. I'll, um, I'll, I'll work on myself, and I won't harass anyone else anymore. Just please don't take that away. Are you a fool? You really think anyone's going to vote for you after what you did to my poor baby and what you've been doing to no, others? No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand, Miss Barry. I get it, your mother won prom queen, and that's probably why you want it. But you're nothing like your mother. Your mother was kind, sweet, and was able to uplift others with her beautiful singing voice. You? You're nothing but a sleek little devil. Just like your daddy over Mrs. there. Mrs. Kingsley! Oh, no. You're nothing but a spoiled little evil brat who thinks she can get everything she wants and not suffer the goddamn consequences and hide behind her big scary father who doesn't even give a damn about his own town! Enough! Miss Kingsley, that is enough! Thank you. Mom, please. You don't need to say anything else. I'm pretty sure Sarah is very much aware of her bad deeds and has learned her lesson. Well, clearly, it is not enough if the sick child is just going to continue harming others for her own personal gain. She is sick and needs to go to a mental institute that immediately. That is enough. You will stop talking about my child in such a way. Or what? Huh? What are you going to do about it, Kingston? Steal more money from my husband's company? Oh, days. Okay. <clears throat> Mrs. Kingsley, we'll take it from here. You can go home now. I am not going anywhere until this child is properly punished and apologizes to my daughter for what she did. And she has been punished. She got her scholarships taken away, her college application revoked, she's kicked out of the cheer squad, and she's not running for prom queen anymore. And she will be suspended for the rest of the week. What else do you want us to do? Getting suspended is not enough. She needs to be expelled and sent Mother, away. Please. That's enough. I think she's had enough for today. Oh, what's the matter, you little bitch? Not happy that everything's getting taken away from you? Well, maybe you should have thought twice before you fucked around and smashed my daughter's head with a goddamn beer bottle! Well, Alice, please see to it that Mrs. Kingsley makes it out safely. Mrs. Kingsley, it was a pleasure seeing you again. There's no need for an escort, Miss Flowers. I can see myself out. Really, no. Not so sure you can on those short, stubby little legs. <laughs> Keep fucking with us, Kingston. Or I will see to it myself that you and your entire family face the wrath of the Kingsleys. No matter what it takes. This was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Have a nice day at school, sweetheart. I will, Mother. I will. Denise, come with me. You can sit in the office and wait for your next class. Oh, of course, Coach Morales. Of course. Bye-bye, little froggy. Alright, so I'm guessing we're done here. Seeing as the suspension forms have been signed, yes, you are free to go, Mr. Barry. Thank you. I don't mean to speed this process up, but I'm a busy man with a busy schedule. Come on, Sarah. Let's go. Sarah? I hope you've learned your lesson from all of this, and I hope that when you return on Monday, you have a different attitude towards all of your fellow students. Otherwise, the next thing that will be taken from you is your graduation, and you will not be graduating this year. What? You heard me. Keep it up, and you'll be held back a year. Now, you may exit. Yes. Yes, Principal Flowers. That girl needs help. Lots of it. Julie, come on! Come on, Jules! We're gonna be late for class! Julie! Julie! Yeah, so what I'm hearing is, we're totally ditching class. <sighs> yep, it seems like it. But it's not the first time I ditched. Ooh, and be ditching class like the cool kids. Yes. Remember that fling I had with that junior during my freshman year? Ugh, McKenna. Ew. <sighs> it's no use. She won't come out. <sighs> 
Well, looks like we're camping out in the bathroom then. What? And ditching class? But but I have Dr. Mines well, Anna, and Anna, you'll be fine, all right? It's just one class and we can explain to our teachers afterwards, but for now, we need to be here for Julie. Yeah, we'd be pretty shitty ass friends just to leave Julie sitting in here crying by herself. Besides, technically we're cool kids and technically this is what the cool kids do. <sighs> Please, we were only considered cool kids because we were hanging out with Sarah, but I don't know. I don't think I want to hang out with Sarah after hearing what she did to Kenny. Granted, Kenny did say a lot of awful shit to us when they were friends and pushed us aside, but I, I don't know. Well, my thing is, Kenny dogged the fuck out of us when she became a popular girl. And Sarah was kind of the same way. What makes the two any different from each other? Well, because Sarah has been a mean girl for years, and Kenny became a mean girl this year. Kenny was our friend. There's a difference. Yeah, but Kenny said a lot of snide remarks about us this year, which I... I guess I was able to look past and forgive her for because I missed her, but her and Sarah are kind of sort of in the same boat when you think about it. If Kenny could change, so could Sarah. No, because clearly Sarah was trying to do the same thing to us. Are you forgetting that fact? Okay, maybe it started that way, but I don't think she's still that way now. No, I fail to believe that she actually gave a damn about us. After hearing all of that, you really think I'm going to still be her friend now after this? After she tried to trick us, and Julie, and get Julie drunk! That's the same thing she did to Kenny! Sarah is a mean girl, and nothing is ever going to change that. I mean, I kind of see where Patricia is coming uh, from. Anne, are you serious? Mari, listen to me. Yes, it may have started off that way, that Sarah was just trying to trick us and use us as well as Julie, but over time, I could see it in her face. I could see it in her face when she was hanging out with us, when we went over her house this weekend. I, I genuinely think Sarah likes us, and I'm not just saying this to kiss her ass. I genuinely feel like we gave Sarah something she's been looking for for so long. Real friends, you know? Friends who are open and honest with her and don't just lick the ground that she walks on or kiss her ass. We we had a really good time and she was crying when we built her vision board with her. And don't tell me you didn't also feel a little bit of happiness and joy when she was braiding your hair. She's... This doesn't condone what Sarah has done, and I don't approve of what she's done to Kenny and Courtney and Kiara or whatever. But Sarah genuinely needs someone who's actually looking out there for her. People who are actually looking out for her. Because I do feel like she's gone through a lot. And I feel like she's built this strong, mean-ass, bitchy facade of hers because people keep making her out to be the villain, so she believes that she has to be the villain. But when you talk to her like she's a normal fucking human being, she's actually really fucking cool. Yeah, like, she's more than just some basic Barbie bimbo bitch. She's actually really fucking cool and not your stereotypical popular girl. And now I see why Kenny was defending her all those times. But I guess Sarah believes that since everyone else says that she's the monster or this villain that she's not, she, she has to be that way. When she doesn't, girl just needs friends. Real friends. I never... I never thought of it. Like that. I mean, shit, it's like what Julie said. We've gone through so much hell in high school because of each other, so it's understandable that Sarah has such a strong hold front because she's trying to protect herself. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. Yeah, we're so fucking mean to each other for no fucking reason. But when we're actually nice to each other, man, imagine how far we'd go. But it's just... I don't know. I mean, after all that stuff Carmen and Chanel were telling us, 
do you guys really think Sarah isn't like that anymore? I mean, what makes you two think that she's changed over the weekend? I mean, I don't think she's changed over the weekend, but maybe she just feels a little bit more comfortable around us because we're human beings and treating her like she's a human being and not some Disney villain. And we got to know her, which changed our whole perspective about her. Julie! Ah! She's alive! Julie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry I, I scared you guys by running off like that. I I didn't mean to. No, it's it's totally okay. We understand. I mean, I would do the same thing if I thought Sarah's crazy ass was after me too. <laughs> I mean, I guess after hearing what she did to Kenny and seeing how similar it was to what she was doing to me, I guess I thought I was her next target. And hearing that I was in the lead for Prom Queen and taking something that Sarah has been aching for for so long felt like, felt like she had something against me. So it scared me a little bit. And as it should. Like I said, Sarah seems like a really sweet girl and all that, but learning about her violent tendencies and actually seeing it for ourselves, it... I don't know. I mean, I don't want to just avoid her. I mean, that would be pretty fucking rude. And you better not finish that sentence because I'm five seconds away from kicking your ass. I mean, I'm just saying, think of it in... Okay. What if you were in Sarah's shoes? You made friends during the weekend and all of a sudden we decided to ghost you because of some rumors we heard. Wow. Okay. That's a good point. I mean, if that's the case, maybe, maybe we should ask Sarah her side of the story. I'm sure she'll tell us. You think so? I mean, yeah, at least the parts we want to know, of course. Like, what happened between her and Kenny and just hear her out. I mean... I've always heard that it takes two to tango, and there are two sides of a story. Our job isn't to pick sides. Our job is to hear both stories and just leave them to whatever the hell is going on. Yeah, and not trying to scooby-doo on other people's problems, you know? Just let them handle it. This is Sarah's business, and Kenny's business. It has nothing to do with us. The only thing we're doing is fueling the flames. Fueling the flames? And giving in to a bunch of harsh rumors which may not be true while ghosting her in the process. Oh. Oh, gosh. It's okay, Mari. I, I understand where you were coming from. And honestly, if we hadn't gotten to know Sarah during the weekend, I'd probably be saying the same shit. Or shit, I wouldn't even be saying anything to defend Sarah at all. Yeah, well, it goes like this. If Kenny could change in the midst of a month, so can Sarah. And I genuinely think she wants to be our friend, you know? She's just, you know, got a lot of baggage. And not only that, she has a horrible father who's a horrible influence to her and neglects her here and there. Yeah, and I feel like his neglectful behavior and poor parenting skills is probably why Sarah is the way that she is now. I mean, well, she had her mom, and her mom was there for her growing up. Kinda. I mean, not really. Her mom was a big, famous Broadway star, so she really didn't have much time for Sarah either. Sarah didn't have any of her parents growing up. She was just one of those sad, poor, rich kids who needs a parental figure but doesn't have it and takes a lot of that anger and frustration out on her peers. Oh, wow. Mariana, the psychologist, is popping now. I'm being serious, Patricia. <sighs> Maybe... Maybe we could visit her after school today and talk to her, you know? Nah, fuck that. What we need to do is kidnap her and take her out to get some ice cream or something. Or maybe, like, some karaoke. Ooh, karaoke! I like that! I mean, yes, that's a nice way to cheer Sarah up. Yes, yes. Pretty sure she would very much like it. And maybe we can have another slumber party again, but this time at my house. My mom said she doesn't want me stepping foot into her house. <laughs> well, frankly, I wouldn't want to step foot into her house either. What? But her house is huge! I mean, Julie, no shade to your house because you live in one of those townhomes and your house is pretty big, but hers is a mansion! No, well, my mom said she doesn't want me going back there because her father is, well, 
creepy. So, wait. So, yeah. Julie, back there, you said something about Sarah being after you just like her father. What was that all about? Yeah, now that I think about it, I do remember you running off saying something like that. Did Sarah's father do something to your family or something? Well, my mom seems to think that since Sarah's father and my father didn't exactly have the nicest past, they, she thinks that her father had something to do with my father's murder. Whoa, holy shit. Wow, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And that, that explains why your mom was so timid. What do you mean? When she was picking us up, I mean, I thought it was because she was nervous because she never met Sarah's father before and well, your mom, your mom's super overprotective as it is. <laughs> True that. But, and I didn't want to say anything or overstep any boundaries or poke my nose in business that had nothing to do with me, but your mom seemed super timid around him, like he's done something really bad in the past. Now that you mention it, that dude does give off some type of vibe, like dirty business type of vibes. Yeah, yeah, now that I think about it, my my dad, he's, he's a goddamn cop, and he says that dude seems fishy every time he sees them in the meetings and stuff. I guess we, I guess we really never thought about it till now. Well, we're a bunch of fucking kids, so what the fuck are we gonna do? Scooby-Doo this shit and get our asses killed? I'm cool, thanks. Well, even if he is a shady businessman, I don't think Sarah should be around him at all, you know? Especially if she's working on reshaping herself, because I'm pretty sure if he is that way, she gets a lot of her actions from him. Yeah, that is true. A lot of kids do tend to get a lot of their violent behaviors from any type of parental figure or guardian, rather. Okay, Mariana, we get it. You're studying psychology. Jesus. <sighs> Whoop, that's the bell. Looks like we need to head to second period. Oh God, I can't believe we really just skipped class. I feel horrible. What, because you skipped homeroom? Relax, all right? You can make up whatever assignment you miss tomorrow. Come on, let's no, go. No, it's not that. I mean, it, we're gonna show up present to our other classes, so they're gonna suspect something and give us a detention. Hey. Oh, Anne. Look, I know you're a bit shaken up still after hearing everything. If I were in your shoes, I would be too, but don't worry, we're gonna get to the bottom of this and talk to Sarah and get some answers, and hopefully she'll clear everything up, okay? I know, but I'm still a little scared because I took away prom queen from Sarah. What if she, what if she has it out for me or something? Then if she has a little bit of sanity left in her mind, she'll learn to get over it and learn that it's just high school at the end of the day. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's pissed off that you're in the lead for prom queen, but if she's a normal fucking human being, she'll learn to get over it. <laughs> but if she does anything or says anything that makes you feel alienated or uncomfortable, let me know, because I'll kick her ass. Uh and that's a little harsh. <laughs> Please, harsh or not, if she does anything to make you uncomfortable or tries to force you out of the race, then I'll kill her. <laughs> come on, let's go. <sighs> it's just like mom said, she's nothing like her dad. She's nothing like her dad. <gasps> Julie! Oh my god! There you are! Oh, great. More attention. Camilla! Hey! It's nice seeing you again. Same here. How's my favorite it girl doing? <sighs> A little stressed out, but I've I've been worse. Oh, having a bad day? 
homeroom wasn't the sweetest? Uh, well, I wouldn't know, seeing as I didn't go to homeroom. <gasps> oh my god, you bunked class? Oh my god, no way, you totally bunked class? Um, well, uh, uh yeah, I was stressed out, too stressed to go to class, so... My friends and I, we uh, hang out in the bathroom. <gasps> wow, and here I was thinking that you were such a goody two-shoes, but wow, that's kind of bad. <laughs> See, I told you girls. Told you she's the new popular it girl. Yes, totally. And Julie, I never noticed you at first, but now that I'm looking at you, you have a really pretty face structure and you wear pretty cute clothes. You make a perfect uh, popular girl. Yeah, thank you. I guess. Yeah, you're real cute and all that. I mean, of course you could stand to lose a few pounds. Justice, don't be mean. Hush, hush, hush. You are so beautiful, Julie. The way that you are and everything that you stand for is just, oh, it's so perfect. Just living life and, you know, enjoying your high school year while you still can. Mm. Such a queen. Mm -hmm. Mm. Totally, and I could totally see you overthrowing Sarah and you, Nace. Uh, whoa, whoa, hey, as flattering as that sounds, I'm not interested in becoming the new popular it girl or anything like that. <laughs> well, it's too late for that when the student body is already naming you queen of the prom. Yeah, and you're the only it girl that everyone cares about, seeing as both Eunice and Sarah have completely ruined their reputation. Yeah, especially Sarah after she punched Kiara dead in the face before homeroom. Wait. What? Sarah... Sarah did what? Oh my god, it was so crazy. It was like something straight out of a movie. Kiara just ran up to Sarah and started yelling all this stuff to her. And Sarah was like, leave me alone, bitch. And Kiara just lashed on her and tried to pull her back. But Sarah turned around and punched her dead in the face. Busted her nose and lip. Oh. Poor girl had to go home. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, and I totally wouldn't be surprised if Sarah put that poor girl into a hospital. Just like every other girl who seems to go up against her. I'm surprised you're not in shambles, Julie. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess... I guess I'm a lucky one. Nah, what if Sarah is slowly but surely planning your demise? Like, I wouldn't be surprised. That girl has been talking about prom queen ever since freshman year. And to see it be so taken easily away from her? Oh, yeah, you'd be my target right about now. Um, yeah, like what she did to you knees freshman year for homecoming queen and she poured punch all over her dress. Or that one time she embarrassed Courtney for the winter ball. And let's not forget what she put Kenny through just so she can win queen of the spring fling. And oh, Kenny, may that girl rest in peace. Um, oh, and you want to know uh, something about that um, accident? I overheard a rumor that Sarah might have paid somebody to hit Kenny in the face of her car. No way. I totally heard the same thing. Thing too like she paid one of her dad's workers to pull up in a truck and cause that car accident yeah I honestly think she genuinely had it out for that girl after so much shit that she put her through like oh it's so sick yeah well I heard that girl got suspended so Julie you're safe for now at least Wait. Sarah got suspended yeah for punching Kiara in the face and well a whole bunch of other things that Uni said that I really can't think of right about now uh, oh please as if that's gonna slow her down if anything that's probably just gonna make her even more mad Ooh. oh my gosh Camilla don't joke like that you're scaring Julie Julie it's fine she's just a petty high school popular girl if anything after all of this she's probably not gonna do shit to you so don't worry um, um. Yeah. Yeah, and that whole killing Kenny thing is just a silly little rumor just to scare the freshmen, so you'll be fine. Yeah, totes. Oh my gosh, Tristan, hi. Camila, Renee, Justice, hello. Oh my gosh, Tristan, hello. So like, you're totally single now, right? Um. What? Renee, they're still together. What are you talking about? <laughs> not after Sarah has been on this crazy rampage, they're not. I mean, Tristan, if I were you, I would break up with her now while you still can before you're the next person she takes her anger out on. Okay. Bit rude and none of your business, thanks. No, 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 because she's like totally right. I mean, you're next on her list of taking her anger out on her friends. Aside from Julie, that is. Um, yeah, but Julie is like her rival right now, and she's like at the top of the cake. So Julie will be last on her list. <gasps> oh my god, Julie! Um, 
Yes. You and Tristan should go to prom together. That would be so cute. And it would bump up Tristan's reputation after breaking up with the psycho bitch. Um, no. Like I said, that's very fucking rude. First of all, and second of all, I'm dating Sarah. Why would I take Julie to prom? Uh, to salvage your reputation. I mean, if Julie doesn't want to take you, I will. Okay, could you three please fuck off? Thanks. If you have nothing nice to say about Sarah, leave. Oh my god, you're still going to stay with Sarah even with all these rumors flying around? Ugh. <gasps> So loyal, yet so stupid. Ugh, whatever. Whenever you're done playing around with Psycho Barbie, let me know. <laughs> Once a psycho, always a psycho. And I know you're trying to be Bob the Builder and try to fix her, but that girl's never gonna change. But good luck with that, though. I'll talk to you later, Julie. What a bitch. Yeah, I know, right? And she's not the only one. Girls are all over me during homeroom talking about, Oh, when are you and Sarah gonna break up? She's crazy, so you should leave her. <laughs> if men left women because they were crazy, well then, why did it take Kanye so long to leave Kim? <laughs> True that. Sorry they were fucking with you, though. I know a lot of people have been bombarding you today with all of this attention because you're in the lead. Oh, congrats, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. And, yeah, the attention is hella weird, and it's been freaking me and my friends the fuck out all day, but it's not something I'm not used to. Same. I feel you. I'm just I'm so sick of people thinking I'm gonna just give up on my relationship just because Sarah's going through something. I mean, yeah, she had a huge rampage at the party, but to be pretty fair, it was kind of justified. Eunice... Eunice had no right exploiting her like that. Yeah, although I'm not gonna lie, it was terrifying as fuck. But if I were Sarah, I'd probably do the same shit. Well, not with a beer bottle, I'd just beat that bitch the fuck up. Exactly, and people are trying to pin Sarah out to be the bad guy, but Eunice is just as fucking bad. She did that shit on purpose just to get a reaction out of Sarah and use it against her like everyone else has. Everyone always makes Sarah out to be the bad guy, but I know she's not. She's more than that. I mean, yeah, Sarah has anger issues here and there, and I've been trying to talk to her about getting therapy because, well, she never talks about her problems and represses a lot of anger, and it leads to her horrible behaviors, but I know Sarah. She's a good person, and with the right help, she could become even better. I just wish people would stop pushing that agenda and making her out to be the bad guy. Wow. <laughs> wow, you really, you really do care about her, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's not only my girlfriend, she's my best friend. And friends look out for each other, no matter what, you know. They call each other out on their bullshit and just stick their nose out for each other, because... You know, we're all we have. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I know Sarah said that you two were friends, but, you know, Sarah, Sarah tends to lie a lot, but are you guys, are you guys really friends? Um, well, uh, <laughs> kinda. I mean, we kind of sort of bonded over the weekend, so I... I guess that makes us friends. Well, you should, you should definitely look out for her this week. She just got suspended, and knowing her, I'm sure she's taking it pretty hard. But, you know, you should look after her, or, you know, maybe visit her sometime this week to cheer her up a little bit. I'm sure she'd appreciate it, because she seemed like she had a lot of fun with you last week. Yeah. And... I bet in times like this, where everyone's pretty much against Sarah, as they always are, she she could really use a friend. You should visit her too, you know? For sure, for sure. And she better expect a pool full of messages from me just checking on her and making sure she's doing okay. Because I know how she is. <laughs> oh. Well, it was really nice talking to you, Tristan. And thanks for that. It actually helped me open my eyes to a lot. <laughs> no prob, Jules. You know I'm no stranger. We're definitely friends in my book. And if you 
If you ever need to talk about anything else, I'm always here. Thanks, Tristan. I'll keep that in mind.